Researchers have discovered a potential method through blood tests, which they say can predict who is more likely to have the long COVID. Ia De Vera will tell us the details live. Yes, Ia? Marielle the study published in the Nature Communications Journal points to the significance of two certain immunoglobulins, IgM and IgG3, which is produced in the body as antibodies to combat COVID-19 symptoms. Over 500 patients participated in the study, which ran from April 2020 through to August 2021, where scientists analyzed the levels of these antibodies in blood tests. Soon after, results revealed that those with lower levels of the antibodies IgM and IgG3 were seen to develop the long COVID condition. This condition is described as long-term symptoms of COVID-19, which remain after infection of the virus. With lower anti antibodies, there was a 75% probability probability of patients developing these long-lasting symptoms. Marielle Cove, currently there is no diagnosis of definition for long COVID. However, there are more studies yet to discover and confirm findings that can aid scientists to estimate whether a patient will develop such long-term symptoms. Marielle? Yeah, what are the symptoms of long COVID? Marielle, according to the World Health Organization's Dr. Janet Diaz, they could be in shortness of breath, cognitive dysfunction are commonly known as a brain fog and fatigue. At the moment, it is still unknown how long it lasts, but others have experienced it between three months to nine months. Marielle? Thank you, Ia Devera, reporting live from New Zealand.